48 Hours, starring Nick Nolte. And you know, Turnabout is fair play. Nolte had a triumph last fall. This time he played the convict, the movie called Weeds. Coming up at one, we have got David Carradine and Steve James in P.O.W. The Escape, so please stay with us. Janet Jones, the dancer with the group Motion, who danced in the film roles in Flamingo Kid and a chorus line, celebrates a birthday today. Janet Jones is 26 years old. Happy birthday, Janet. You know, people have different tastes when it comes to films. Some people go nuts over comedies. Some prefer dramas. Some, like Joe Bob Briggs, are addicted to slasher epics. But no matter what your taste is, the movie channel, we like to say, is the place to turn. We've got a whole range of films every month, from classics like Catch-22 and Play It Again, Sam, to up-to-the-minute films like Sid and Nancy. So stay with us. We've got different movies for different people. We are now 23 minutes away from our next feature, so please, in the meantime, settle back. Watch an interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, look behind the scenes of the making of the movie Witness. Stay with us. The Movie Channel presents the Hollywood Classic of the Week, featuring Play It Again, Sam. Directed by Herbert Ross, this 1972 comedy stars Woody Allen as a Bogart addict whose life is thrown into turmoil by his compulsion. Take my advice, kid, and forget all this fancy relationship stuff. The world is full of dames. All you gotta do is whistle. He's right. You're him an inch and they step all over you. Why can't I develop that attitude? Nothing a little bourbon and soda couldn't fix. Play It Again, Sam, starring Woody Allen and Diane Keaton, a Hollywood classic of the week on the Movie Channel. Tomorrow... America hasn't been invaded in 200 years until now. America will be a different place. And there's only one man who can save it. It's time to die. It's the invaders who are doing the dying. An exclusive you won't see on HBO or Cinemax. See you in hell. Send me a postcard. Chuck Norris stars in Invasion USA on the movie channel. Tuesday. The acclaimed mystery thriller Witness won an Academy Award for Best Screenplay and for Best Achievement in Film Editing. Co-stars Harrison Ford and Kelly McGillis talk about the unusual experience of making the film as the movie channel goes behind the scenes. The way we shot it was we shot mostly in sequence to the point of not knowing each other, to getting more comfortable around each other, and then, Daniel, you know, Morgan. great familiarity Morgan. through the course of time, which I think is a big help in this case. You know, and that's one of the things that works and helps helps that part of that relationship, because it actually is true. I mean, I never really met him at all and, and or worked with him before. Where are you taking us? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We're looking for a suspect. We got reason to believe he's still in the neighborhood, and uh, I want the little boy to take a look at him. You have no right to keep us here. Uh, yes, I do. Your son's a material witness to a homicide. You don't understand. We want nothing to do with your laws. <sighs> Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> a lot of people I meet are like that. <laughs> I think what was most interesting about doing um, the film and the character of Rachel is one, being able to create a non-modern woman in modern times. Although newcomer Kelly McGillis gained valuable experience in Witness, veteran Harrison Ford has a different approach. The job of acting is no different uh, in a more complicated part or a less complicated part. Not for me, at least. I mean, there's Harrison Ford in every character that I play. I, I have nothing to work with, but uh, the experience of Harrison Ford, the um, psychology of Harrison Ford, you have to translate it into another character. You have to make that other character predominate. But there's a lot of me in this character, yeah. Up, 
dog's book. You better get going. relationship between the cop and the Amish woman is the core of the film. But is such a relationship plausible? Well, let's talk about this, the believability of it, honestly. You look at a man like Harrison Ford, he's very attractive. He's very, to me, he has animal appeal. If, 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 uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's aesthetically nice to look at. And, and I think in the reality of it, here's a young woman who's just lost her husband. She's not all that old. She's in her mid-twenties. I mean, she's very still alive and feeling things. And I, I think that that's where you can make it work. Unlike his character in Witness, Harrison Ford actually prefers the country life. I still pound uh, nails on my own projects, yeah. It's an attempt at maintaining uh, sanity. It's something more than that. It's, uh, I think it's the life I really would prefer to live. Uh, I don't like cities, I prefer the country. I prefer the simplicity of the, uh, of the life I live up there. And, uh, but I, at the same time, I mean, I acknowledge that I really, I need the jazz and the excitement of, uh, of work in the city every once in a while as well. Witness. Starring Harrison Ford and Kelly McGillis, this month on The Movie Channel. It's January, it's Joe Bob Briggs, and you know what that means. The new drive-in theater schedules are out, the new drive-in theater schedules are out, and here's what we got. The Happy Hooker, the movie that asked the question, would you pay to do it with Lynn Redgrave? Hard bodies. They're hard, they're bodies. That's why they call them hard bodies. The sleaziest film we'll show in 88. Malibu Bikini Shop, the title says it all. Stooge Mania, gratuitous Three Stooges footage, including Shimp. And finally, The Concrete Jungle, best women in cages movie of 1983. As you can see, it's Breast Awareness Month on Drive-In Theater, our annual tribute to cleavage, and I'll be here to bring you every inch of it. Every Friday night, around 11 o'clock, get with the program, people. The Movie Channel presents a showcase of films that so uniquely explores the American experience, it can rightly be called an American original. While a great wall may seem like an odd choice for an American original, the movie has carved a place for itself as the first fictional feature-length Chinese-American co-production to have been realized since the revolution. I got a ticket for a vacation. One month or even longer. How's that? It's a unique comic look at the social and cultural collision of China and America. A great wall, an American original on the Movie Channel. Coming soon. One interesting aspect of today's movie business is how actors fight for billing. Whose name goes first on the marquee, or nowadays even more complicated, whose name goes on what level. One example is the ads last year for Ishtar with its staircase billing for Warren Beatty, Isabella Johnny, and Dustin Hoffman. But while some actors fight for billing, have you noticed some others seem to be battling to get no billing at all? One example, Jack Nicholson. Right now, he's very prominent and prominently billed in the new movie Ironweed with Meryl Streep. But at the same time, he's also prominent in another new movie, Broadcast News, in which he gets no billing at all. In Broadcast News, Jack Nicholson plays a version of Walter Cronkite, a very big league, big time network newscaster. But you won't see his name in any of the ads for the movie. You only see the names of William Hurt, Albert Brooks, and Holly Hunter. Now, this isn't the first time that Nicholson has played a supporting role. He also played small roles in Reds and Terms of Endearment. But this is the first time he's worked without billing. And why did he do it? Well, probably because the role is small but juicy, probably also because Broadcast News was written, produced, and directed by James L. Brooks, 
the man who directed Nicholson into his second Oscar for that small role in terms of endearment. But Nicholson didn't want to give the public the impression that broadcast news was a Jack Nicholson movie. It's a William Hurt movie. So, no billing for Jack. Now, he's not the first star to go incognito in a movie. In Woody Allen's radio days, Diane Keaton showed up unexpectedly and without billing. She didn't have dialogue in the movie, just a song. But the song wrapped up that movie, if you remember, and Diane also got a chance to sing on film, which she's always wanted to do. And she also got a chance to work again with her old mentor, Woody Allen. And oh yes, uh, there were also a couple of other names who showed up in that same movie, Radio Days, without their usual billing. Jeff Daniels, and Tony Roberts. Now, these unbilled appearances have occurred in movies for years, but usually as just small gag appearances. I mean, Bing Crosby was always popping up in a Bob Hope film just in time to walk off with the leading lady, or Elizabeth Taylor doing a walk-on without billing in the movie Anne of the Thousand Days, which starred her husband at the time, Richard Burton. But sometimes the visit went far beyond a mere drop-in. In Bob Hope's 1955 movie, The Seven Little Foys, about vaudevillian Eddie Foy, James Cagney made a major contribution. Cagney recreated his own Oscar-winning role as Broadway legend George M. Cohan, and he did a major dance number with Bob Hope in the movie. Now, it took weeks to rehearse and to film, but Cagney not only refused billing, but even refused to take a dime for it. He told Bob Hope, any Cohan part is worth the effort. And so it's happened through the years. Some of our most Prominent names have played juicy roles, large and small in films, but you won't see them credited necessarily in ads, in TV Guide, or when the credits roll. Now why, when actors live and die, and sometimes cut throats for good billing, why do they sometimes work without the credit? Well, for every appearance, there's a different reason. Sometimes it's because the role is too tempting to refuse, but the star would rather take no billing than low billing. Sometimes it's done just for fun. Sometimes it's for a reason rarely publicized in Hollywood, friendship. But whatever the reason, don't be surprised to find a Jack Nicholson popping up in a movie like Broadcast News or anyone popping up in anything for that matter. Just as you could never judge a book by its cover, no longer can you know a cast by the billing. The movies are proving that more and more these days. I'm Robert Osborne for The Heart of Hollywood. Stay tuned for a film short on the movie channel, the heart of Hollywood. It begins as a nice enough day, just a regular sort of a stay. But when push comes to shoves, these quiet old doves turn hawks so stay out of their way. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Harrison Ford, Charles Bronson, and Chuck Norris wax poetic in eight great action films during the Law Enforcers Marathon. That's interesting. Anything else? No. Just be here on Saturday, January 16th, a day when justice will triumph over evil on the movie channel. Nice men. Here are the movies you can record this week on the Movie Channel's VCR Theater. Monday, Play It Again, Sam. Tuesday, Manhunter. Wednesday, Compromising Positions. And Thursday, Fire with Fire. Why bother with movie rentals? Just set your VCR timer every night at 3 a.m. 2 central to the Movie Channel. The perfect VCR accessory. After retiring from professional bodybuilding as five-time Mr. Universe, Arnold Schwarzenegger has gone on to prove himself a champion box office success with hits like Conan the Barbarian, its sequel Conan the Destroyer, The Terminator, Commando, and another recent hit, Raw Deal, which can be seen this month on the Movie Channel. When I retired from bodybuilding, I decided that I wanted to go after a new goal. And uh, one of the things that uh, I thought would be interesting is uh, maybe to become another Clint Eastwood or uh, one of the big stars that are on top of the ladder. So I, I retired from bodybuilding and I uh, then worked as hard. I started from the bottom and worked as hard uh, as I did in bodybuilding and worked my way to the top. But there's nothing that a small town sheriff can do that you can. I want you to get inside the Petro Vita organization and tear it up. Who do you think I look like? 
Dirty Harry? Some critics scoffed at his heavy Austrian accent, refusing to look past his muscles and consider him a serious actor. But no one doubts his ability to attract and please a movie audience. I know I'm not the greatest thing since sliced bread when it comes to acting, and uh, I worked my way up to the top. I came in from sports, and uh, you know, it's very difficult to break into a new thing, and you have to start from scratch and so on. But I feel very happy that each time I do a film, my performance is getting better, and I realize that there is no such thing as pleasing everybody. So there will always be critics around that will knock my films, and there will always be critics around that will like my films, and that's fine. But I think when I look at the box office success, then I know that the majority of people love my films, and that's all that counts to me. Arnold Schwarzenegger in Raw Deal, this month on the Movie Channel. Before the wedding comes the jitters. The minute you get married, you start to drive each other crazy. Before the baby comes the anticipation. Is you is or is you ain't my baby. Just keep breathing, you can do it. I don't want to do it, honey. Can't we get somebody else to do it? No. But before the end comes the heartburn. I found out who Thelma Rice is having the affair with. How to tell if your husband's cheating? What's the first clue? It may be a slip of paper you found in his wallet. I, I know about you and Thelma Rice. You want monogamy? Marry a swan. Betty told her that you said she had herpes. You tell Thelma she comes over here one more time, I'll tell Betty she has the clap. Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson star in Mike Nichols' bittersweet comedy. Your mother would have loved him. Yeah, but she was crazy. Heartburn on the Movie Channel. Thursday. Here's Murphy. He's a cop, and he upsets a lot of people. Let me ask you, you ever hear of Murphy's Law? If anything can possibly go wrong, it will. A lot of things could happen to someone like you. You could get run over by a truck. We'll tell you now, he isn't hit by a truck, but he isn't having an easy day. You're going to jail, Jack. And you know what happens to a cop in jail? Huh? So here he is, handcuffed to a loudmouth thief, and on the hit list of the mob, a pathological blonde, and even the cops. When was the last time you pulled anything? 1964. Oh, my God. And if anything can possibly go wrong... Hello, over there! Get the hell out of there! Charles Bronson and Carrie Snodgrass star in Murphy's Law on the Movie Channel. Friday. Jessica Lange just left hers. Why aren't I miserable? Diane Keaton doesn't have one. Why don't you just tell me what man is gonna love me? What man is gonna love me? Sissy Spacek just shot one. Uh, Men, uh, you can't live with them. Slim night? But the McGrath sisters can live without them. Would you like a Coke instead? Oh, no, not even <laughs> no to me, huh? I have just about had my fill of you. Trashy McGrath and your trashy ways. So how's your wife? Oh, uh, she's fine. Going around with married men, shooting your own husband. Crimes of the Heart. Premiering Sunday, January 17th at 9, 8 central on the Movie Channel.